cases are getting up. Some of this has happened a lot. Uh, Lagos getting down. <laughs> uh, we're crossing the finger that he has to go. And we need to see him moving into the era. I believe in this land move, yeah? And it's going to show us something. They're active now, I can see. The night that fast asleep, some of them, they can see us now and then. They might get moved. Unless if they cross over into the other side of our neighborhood, heading furthermore north, that they can do that. If Buffalo, they have traveled furthermore north. But mainly, this uh, private land, they might walk into the west along along Gary Professional Boundary. I've seen one of the behavior that normally gives me guarantee or courage to stay here, getting to see lion yawning. It's one of the things that lions shows activating the body. Is a sign of the species, I mean, the lion might get up and move. We might have to quickly change the infrared. Uh, that will be good. Stopping here, I'm trying to prepare ourselves into night camera. It looks like our light is getting low. So we're going to cut into Gary Waterhole itself, preparing for our night camera. Well, while Rex and Peter are just taking a short break, I'd like to welcome you to our game drive this evening. Um, hope you've been watching the five snoozing lions uh, in the moonlight. Absolutely unforgettable pictures, beautiful stuff. Um, this is Sue in the Wild Earth Final Control Centre at Juma. 
Please do stay with us and we'll continue the drive in a few minutes with the infrared camera. It'll be interesting to see what the lions get up to with that camera on them because of course they can't tell that there's an, uh, a light on them. Only we can see their movements. Um, so it'll be interesting to come back and have a look at that very soon. Uh, this picture of course is Gowrie Waterhole which is a very familiar sight to our regular viewers. Let's just stay with the sights and sounds at Gowrie until Rexon and Peter set off again in a few minutes.